Well, hey everybody. Of course, what's in the news about the Washington football team is certainly the new name that is being released on February the 2nd, 2022. So we have a month to go and we're going to finally know what a new name for the Washington football team is going to be. There's been a lot of speculation out there, certainly on the interwebs, about what the new name is going to be. One thing that we can definitely say that is not going to be is the Washington Red Wolves. Now, that was the very popular choice amongst a lot of fans. I want to say probably amongst a lot of the younger fans, although I really liked Washington Red Wolves and the the idea behind it, and I, you know, it was a safe choice, but because of trademark issues, this was just not going to be something that they were going to e be easily obtained. So because of that, they decided to scrap the Red Wolves, and they're going with something else. Now there's a lot of people on Twitter. You know, there, there's already been people on Twitter who have, who have said, I have a source, and this source tells me it's going to be the Washington Commanders. I can't reveal my source. I am just a person who nobody knows, who, you know, is not in the media whatsoever, but I have a source who works for New Era, blah, blah, blah. And okay. Now... This is one thing I would say. If you are a legitimate, or if the news that you have heard is, is legitimate from your source, and then you're going to Twitter and you're revealing what the new name is going to be, then I'm not sure if I am the source working for uh, the company that is uh, you know producing the new jerseys and all of that stuff, and you, my friend, you know, I confide in you that this is what the new name's going to be, and then you turn around and you put it on Twitter and what other social media platforms you are a part of, I would seriously consider never speaking to you whatsoever again because I am sure that all employees sign some sort of non-disclosure agreement saying that you are not going to say a word about the branding of this whatsoever or you will be terminated right there on the spot. I am pretty sure that those employees signed something like that. So, you know, for that employee to confide in his friend and his friend to turn around and put it on Twitter and say, hey, this is what the new name's going to be, that that is just a jerk move right there. So by saying that, do I believe him? Well, you know, no. I really don't. I don't think the new name is going to be Commanders. Um, I think it's generic. I don't like the name at all. I don't think that's what the new name's going to be. Um, we know it's not going to be Red Wolves. Um, the other names that's been kicked around, uh, it's not going to be Red Tails. And here's for several reasons. One obvious reason is the fact that it has nothing to do with the D.C. area. Now, if this was Alabama, sure, I, I can make a case for it has nothing to do with the D.C., Virginia area. Red, Wool, or Red, Red Tails does not have any ties whatsoever. Two, even though these men were fantastic, great men who should be honored, again, you are kind of going after using a human being as a mascot. And isn't that something that we're trying to get away from? You know, I mean, Red Tails, okay, maybe, maybe not. You could probably make the case that, um, well, you know, it's not the men in particular. It's what they call themselves. Um, but, you know, I there, there's people who call themselves Indians and Native Americans and, and whatsoever. So, I mean... <laughs> I just think it's slippery slope, and I think that is uh, something that the team want to get away from. And, you know, certainly to other other people like the name because it has something to do with race as well. Um, and I just think that, I think that the team just wants to get away from colors, from races, from humans, 
people in general and go with something a lot safer than that. So that is why I believe they will not go with Red Tails. I don't think that they're going to go... Honestly, I don't think they're going to go with any type of military name per se, but it may be something that honors the military. I still think it's going to be the Washington Monuments. Um, the reason why I think that is, well, I mean, you got the Washington Nationals, you got the Washington Capitals. It just seems to go along with the other DC pro sports. You know, Washington Monumental, Monuments, <laughs> the Washington Monuments. Um, you know, a lot of people have analyzed some of the reflection of the logo that was uh, that's supposedly on the helmet, and uh, you know, people were able to make out that it's a W with a, the Washington Monument in you know baked in into the W, and so it makes sense that you know the team would be called the Washington Monuments. Um, you got the stars on the jersey, which certainly. Um, does not signify rank or anything like that. It signifies the DC flag. Um, so I can definitely see the Washington Monuments. I think that's what it's going to be. Do I hate it? I don't hate it. Um, it's just going to be something to get used to. Um, you know, I'm an old school fan, so it's hard to shake Redskins. And there's going to be people who still calls them Redskins and it's not to, to be offensive or anything like that. It's just that, you know, they've grown up around this team calling them the Redskins and they'll continue to do that. So that's what I think the new name's going to be. Now, what do I think about the, the parts that we have seen with the uniforms and, and things like that? Well, for one thing, I am, I am glad that we're getting stripes back on the helmet now um i do honestly do like our current helmets you know kind of plain burgundy with the uh the numbers on the sides um, i like that for a while but i'm enjoying the fact that we're going to have some stripes again and from what i looked really closely it looked like the stripes are going to be a little um glitched so to speak so they're not going to be like solid stripes Look like there's a little bit of, uh, the best I can explain is, is a little bit of a glitch uh, imperfections. So, um, I don't know, I think it's going to look kind of neat. If we do have uh, the W with the monument baked into the W, um, that's going to look kind of neat. It looks like the W is going to be a little bit more pointed. Um, so, uh, that's going to be a thing. <laughs> Um, I know a lot of people have really gotten to enjoying the W that we have right now. Honestly, that W probably did not take them very long to come up with. Probably took them a day to come up with that W. So to have something that's a little bit more artistic, uh, a little bit different, um, I think it's going to look pretty cool. Still, though, you know, kind of looking at some of the blur in, in um, some of the frames when um, Martin Mayhew was taking... The, uh, the helmet out of the box. It looked like there was still kind of maybe like a circle. So I don't know, maybe you're gonna have the uh, Washington Monument W within a circle and that could be it. You know, it could be as close to kind of like what we had uh, with the Indian chief in the circle, uh, who knows. Uh, or maybe it's gonna be different on both sides of the helmet you know maybe on one side it's going to be the w maybe on the other side it's going to be another logo i think that would be neat i don't know of any other team in the league right now that does that i mean you have the pittsburgh steelers who only has their logo on one side of the helmet not on the other side but for the most part the rest of the league they have their logos on both sides so to have a different logo on one side than the other i think would be a, a pretty neat uh, idea and something that you know the other teams have not done before the other thing that i find interesting looks like that we're going to have a matte black alternative helmet that's going to be pretty sweet um, i know a lot of people really like the idea of involving black as an alternate color within our, our burgundy and gold color scheme i'm okay with that i mean if you're going to make changes uh, just don't make like huge changes. Uh, it was important for us to keep the burgundy and gold. But, you know, if you want to incorporate 
black as an alternative color, I'm down with that. Uh, you know, I can picture some black jerseys going along with the black helmets, or maybe not. I mean, the burgundy would probably still look pretty good with it as well. So that would be something to see. Um, overall, you know, the the uh, the stripes on the um, the sleeves of the jersey looks pretty cool. Looks pretty clean. I mean, it's overall just from what I've seen, what I heard, it's clean look. Um, I, I'm. I mean, I, I think I'm going to dig it. Um, I think the fans in general will love the uniforms. I think it's just going to come down to what the name is going to be. Um, there's not going to be any form of wolves, or is it? You know, Again, Jason Wright said that he, there's going to be a lot of misdirection in all of this. So right now there's a lot of people who feel like they, they have been smart enough to guess what it's going to be. Um, I'm just throwing out my guesses. I don't claim to be some you know, investigator who can really study all this and be like, oh, this is what it's going to be because I, I just, in the end, I don't know. I don't know what to believe. Um, you know, I do want it to be something that nobody has guessed because that makes me feel like we're going to be in for a really cool nickname um, because let's face it, everything that people have guessed um, and everything that appears to be the finalist, um, you know, Red Wolves notwithstanding, um, just doesn't sound that great to me. It sounds more generic. Uh, sounds more like, well, if we got to go with that, I'm okay with it type of deal. But, you know, just um, I would for once love for this franchise to just really hit on something like this where, oh, my dear Lord, that is so bad, man. That is awesome, this name. Oh, it's going to make me really be excited about cheering for this team next year. That's what I want to hear. That's what I want to see. You know, I don't want it to, honestly, uh, you know, I, I don't want it to come back and, and be some generic thing where it's like, eh, Washington Generals, you know, might as well just get them to play the uh, Harlem Globetrotters so we can lose in every game. You know, I mean, it, it's. I don't want it to be generic like that, you know. Would it be something I'd deal with? Yeah, because I've been a fan of this team for 40-plus years, but um, I do want it to be something that's cool, that's unique. Um, I am going to like the jerseys. I think in time I'll live with whatever name that they're, they're going to roll with, um, but I really feel like any of the names that we have guessed, it's not going to be any of those names. I'm saying it right here. It's not going to be Commanders, not going to be Admirals, not going to be Armada. It's not going to be Red Tails. It's not going to be Red anything. Um, hogs, I just don't think it's going to be Hogs, but then again, it could. Who knows? That being said, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section. Blah! Let me know in the comments section below yes this is about as live as i can get on a is this thursday thursday morning um i have other videos in the can that i have not went live with yet so um yeah i'm getting kind of uh behind on on releasing these videos this week anyway folks take care have a great day hell to the washington whatever <laughs>